hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. It's definitely been a weird one this year, however, I feel like I still kind of got into the Christmas spirit, maybe not until Christmas Eve though. <laughs> Normally I'm Christmasing from November, so that's a bit of a difference for me. However, I wouldn't normally do one of these videos, but I have watched a few of other people's and really actually enjoyed them. So if it's not your thing, please feel free not to watch. And if it is your thing, then I hope you enjoy. I still have everything in my living room from two days ago. It's the 27th now. So I still have everything in bags in my living room. Yesterday was just a hangover day. So I was doing absolutely nothing. Boxing day, what else is it for? However, I thought I would run through a few of the bits that I got for Christmas, some of my favourite things I thought I'd show you, as I suppose it's another way to kind of get to know me. So I've got all the bags around me, there's four bags, I won't go through all of it because I get like a stocking type thing from my mum and there's just like little bits and bobs in there, but I will go through the main presents with you and I will leave links to anything that I can find below just in case you wanted to check it out. So I'm just going to start with the ones that I have in front of me. Now, I haven't really put this out. However, I did change my rooms around. So what was my bedroom is now my living room. And what was my living room is now my bedroom. So I might do like a new updated flat tour for 2021. So I'll put that on my list of things to do. But my mum bought me some brand new cushions. Now, I absolutely love these. I love greys and silvers and baby pinks and these are sort of bigger than a normal cushion. A normal cushion is kind of like that size I'd say. So these are definitely bigger but I got two of these so these are definitely going to be going onto my bed and it'd be nice just to have a little bit of a change up and they feel really soft and velvety so no idea where these are from but they're cute. Next up we have a bag of kind of stockingy bits. This was essentially my stocking this year because we couldn't find our normal stockings that we've had uh, since we were children. So I had a bag this year. However, I might look into getting some kind of personalized ones done next year because I think that'd be really cute. Um, just other ones that we can keep for a long time. So let's just go through a few of the bits. Life lessons from a cat because apparently this describes me very well. Uh, I'm not going to read out the rude word, however it does say, including giving less beeps, blatantly ignoring people and watching people while they sleep without getting caught. And apparently that's me, so yeah, that was funny. <laughs> I get a Vogue subscription every year from my nan and granddad, and I have had them for since about 2012. So I've got a library of Vogue magazines. So that was a present from my nan and granddad, which I'm very appreciative for, because I can't wait to look back in 20 years time and have all of these different magazines from all different eras of fashion. It's exciting. I got a few different candles. So we've got a little scented candle here. There is also this beautiful Elemis candle that smells incredible. And this is winter, uh, Fragipani Glow Candle and it smells amazing. It smells so fruity and it's in this beautiful little glass jar. This is the first Elemis candle I've got. I think it's the first thing I've got from Elemis. So I'll be excited to try this out. I love it when they say bougie. Bougie Fragipani Glow, that's what this is called. <laughs> then the classic Christmas socks. We've got a few kind of glittery pairs, some comfy, cozy pairs for at home and face masks, there was a few face masks in there. We also have quite a few Lush bath bombs. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know having a bath is probably my favorite thing and where I spend most of my time. And a few more little bits, we've got some Rituals Balancing Foaming Shower Gel and this one actually says bringing peace and tranquility into your life. So I think my mum might tr be trying to tell me something. Um, but we also have another Rituals one, and this is The Ancient Art of Living Wisely. I think she's trying to tell me something, but this is a balancing body cream, so I'll be looking forward to trying those. I'm trying to use up my older ones before I head for the new ones, so it might be a few months before I get to use these. However, um, I am just trying to do everything in kind of like date order so that I don't have things that go out of date and go all gross. 
Then the misguided unicorn soak, I've not used this before, however, it's for the bath, so I'm all good. It's wonderful. A few little cosmetic bits, so we've got a cute little velvet uh, makeup bag with an E on it, and apparently it was the last one left as well. However, they may have some online, and they do have them in grey, I believe, as well as a beautiful Estee Lauder gloss. Now, I'm really into my glosses at the moment. I used to be a lipstick kind of girl, but now I'm most definitely into my glosses, and this is absolutely beautiful. It's, I don't know if you can see it. Let's hold it up against the back of a card. There we go. So it's this beautiful pink, glittery sort of vibe. I'm loving this. Loving this. I think it, it even smells, ah, oh, it's on my nose. It even smells really good too, so part of the gloss collection now. The next present, I presume, was a bit of a joke present. However, it's actually something that's very useful. So when I changed my rooms around, I asked my family in our group chat if anyone had an electric screwdriver. And I didn't end up needing one, but I now own one. So thank you very much. It's like the most adult present you could ever get someone, isn't it? An electric screwdriver, but this is gonna come in handy. I know it will. Something I've been telling myself that I want to do a lot more of is reading, and I really do need to because I have an entire bookcase full of books. There are loads of books underneath my bed and some under my sofa. I just need to start getting through them because I keep buying more because I see more interesting books, but then I'm like, I haven't really read the ones that I've got already. However, my mum bought me two beautiful books, very fashion-based books, very career-based books. So we've got Andre Leon Talley, a memoir and I remember seeing him on TV at the Met Gala with this beautiful blue like cape type thing on and I remember seeing that so this will be really really interesting to read that one and then we have a biography of Mr Condé Nast himself if you don't know who Condé Nast is Condé Nast started the publishing house that own Vogue magazine and plenty of other ones I do work with Condé Nast um, kind of in work-wise, not to do with my blog or anything like that. So this will be a good one to read. Classic one and what all my family always buy me, alcohol. And I'm sure there's another one in here somewhere. Yep, here's another one. More alcohol. I think you can tell who the alcoholic of the family is. Mm -hmm. Then a wonderful present from my sister. If you have followed my Instagram or watched my videos before, you will know how obsessed I am with Penhaligons. I actually went to Bista a week and a bit ago to just have a browse. I ended up buying some shoes, but I was very tempted by a specific scent in Penhaligons, and I then opened it as my Christmas present from my sister. So, this one is called the Elanesia. I'm aware I pronounced some of them wrong in my Penhaligons haul as well which is really annoying me I'm very tempted to do it again but I'm not going to but this is the Elanesia scent and this one is very floral I love the cute little bow that comes around some of their fragrances I just absolutely love this I don't think this one has a description on it anywhere no it doesn't have a description but I would say this is very kind of floral but not too summery so it's sort of floral but classy it has uh, sort of deeper undertones to it it's not just kind of light and fluffy it's a bit it's a bit deeper than that. I'm not very good at describing fragrance, however I'm trying. I just really enjoy this one, I really like it. Um, I will leave my Penhaligons video linked below if you would like to watch me pronounce perfumes wrong. However, this is going to be going into my collection and I absolutely love this one. Love it. Then it wouldn't be me without including some shoes. So we have two pairs of shoes and another gift in here as well. So I'm going to start with the first pair of shoes these are a very comfy pair of trainers um, I actually found them second hand and then asked for them for Christmas because I knew I would really like them and I couldn't think of anything else I wanted so I bought the Fendi Rococo glitter trainers I was trying to figure out what on earth they were called in all of those words. But these are the Fendi Rococo trainers in the glittery ones. I got them in a size 7 purely because I'm like a 6.5. But sometimes I want my trainers to be comfy and it depends what the brand is. So these were from designerexchange.com. And if you haven't been on designerexchange, 
100% go on there. I've sold a couple of bits to them. I've bought quite a few bits from them. They're just a really, really great sort of designer reseller site. Um, I know I did my ham designer handbag collection video. I'll leave that linked below as well in case you want to watch that. But I talk about them quite a lot because I think they're really good. But these are the Fendi trainers. They are kind of like my Balenciagas. I have three pairs of the Balenciaga runners now. And they're just the most comfy thing in the world. And I'm pretty sure these have never been worn, maybe been worn once, because they don't even look like they've been worn outside. But absolutely love these. They don't have laces, despite the look, but it is just sort of a pull-on, stretchy trainer. And yeah, I just really liked these. I just thought they were a very good, casual, kind of everyday trainer. So yeah, really happy with those. This is something I've been waiting for for maybe all year. <laughs> I know that sounds drastic, however, it has been a long time. I wanted these desperately when they first came out and they sold out pretty much immediately. I couldn't find them anywhere online. I was texting personal shoppers. Nobody could get them till December and by a miracle, they arrived for Christmas, which I'm very, very happy about. These are the Chloe Betty rain boots. So let's open them up. I've worn them once. I wore them, drop the box. Um, I've worn them once outside just to test them out and see how comfortable they are. And honestly, I am in love with them. These are the Chloe Betty rain boots in the beige color. Now these kind of went a little bit mental as soon as they came out. Um, I kept seeing them on loads of bloggers, on Instagram, everywhere, and I just could not find them for sale anywhere. They were out of stock absolutely everywhere, and they've only just come back into stock, so I will leave them linked down below, because I know they're a welly boot, however, I think they're a, a big steal. Like, these are a beautiful, like, staple piece that you can wear every single winter, and I just think they're absolutely beautiful, so comfy. That I, I know they're technically a welly boot. I don't know what else to say about them, but I love them. I just love, I've been talking, I've been annoying everyone I know and talking about them for months. Now I can finally shut up about them because I have them. <laughs> I'm honestly so happy with these. I'm gonna do some videos. Yeah, I got some dust on it. But I'm gonna be doing some videos styling these up as well. Showing you how to wear these with normal outfits because I know you wouldn't normally style a welly boot, but these aren't just kind of an ordinary welly boot. They're a Chloe welly boot. <laughs> but no, they have quite a chunky heel. This is actually quite heavy. Um, they feel pretty heavy considering they're just a welly boot again, but this is like solid rubber in this heel. So although they're very comfy and you can't feel how heavy they are when you're wearing them, they do feel quite weighty in themselves. They have got the Chloe up here, they've also got the Chloe written on the zip and then you've got the little pearl, like pull tie, I don't know what you call it, at the back that says Chloe on either sides as well, just to help you pull them on. But the zip goes all the way down and they're not particularly hard to get on and off. I find them super, super comfortable. You're gonna be seeing a lot of these, I can guarantee that. Second to last, we have a, another beautiful second-hand piece. I'm absolutely loving my designer haul hunting and looking on all these different designer sites. I love it. I prefer to get something that's a little bit different rather than something that's straight off the shelf. I don't know why, I just prefer things that are a little bit, a little bit more out there. So this is my, well, new to me, not new, but new Dolce & Gabbana pouch bag. It's got the adorable little gold chain strap and then it's got the little leather on here to open and close. And this is in leopard print. It's got the Dolce & Gabbana little badge inside there. I know it's tiny, however I do need tiny, tiny, tiny bags. So this would be really good on a night out, I can hold it like this. My phone doesn't actually fit in here, however I hold my phone 24 seven anyway because I get scared that if I'm not holding it, I've lost it. So it doesn't actually matter that it doesn't fit in here because cards, lipstick and keys, it's kind of all I need and it all fits in here. So I'm absolutely loving this. I'm gonna style this up with so many outfits and I'm just glad I now have kind of 
a really special tiny bag because that's what I was definitely missing in my wardrobe. And finally, I have another really exciting present, something that I was looking forward to getting because I knew I was getting it. I've chosen a few of my presents, but mainly just because I wanted to make sure it was stuff I wanted. And if I found it, then it was kind of easier to just be like, yeah, okay, get that. So I got the Dyson, I can't remember what they're called. Why am I having a mind blank? It's like Dyson Sonic hairdryer something I don't know but anyway my hairdresser at Rebecca H salons in Southampton told me off for using the hairdryer that I did because apparently it was very bad for my hair she used one of these on me in the salon I then went to number 131 the hotel in Cheltenham been there a couple of times and they have these in the room so I got to use one last time we stayed there and I actually really enjoy it. I need to figure out how to use all of the buttons and everything like that. However, I'll get there. It comes with a few attachments and I've also got the diffuser one on here which would be great for when I want to do my curly hair and they just literally magnet on and off. Super simple, no faffing around, just magnet. And then it comes with this cute little stand as well. So I can't remember how you put it in here. I need to figure this one out. But ah, just like that. And it just sits really nicely. It's kind of like a display piece rather than just a hairdryer. But I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. This is a good one. And a very girly, very girly gift. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. This was just a little way to say, kind of, this is what I got. Um, the, a lot of it, like I said, a lot of the things I actually asked for. So it's kind of just like a general haul. But anyway, I hope you got exactly what you wanted for Christmas. And I hope you had a really nice day wherever you managed to spend it. And I am planning a lot more content for 2021. A lot more fashion videos, a lot more styling videos. And I'm really excited for it. So yeah anyway <laughs> thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and i will see you very very soon